Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this stretchy text animation in After Effects. Not only this, I will also show you how you can apply these onto any surface and you can create some amazing animations for a brand. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and I'm going to call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create another composition. So let's call this text and I'm going to make this 1000 by 1000. But it's completely up to you. You can set whatever width and height you want. Just click on OK. So now you can see we have this square comp. So now let's add our text. So select the text tool and you can use whatever font you want. I'm using this Montserrat black, but this would work with any other font. So just click and you can type whatever you want. So I'm going to type fast, which is a four letter word, but it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. Now there are two ways in which I can do this animation. Let me show you the first one. So we have this four letter word and I want each letter on each corner. So I'm going to just select in the middle and let's press enter so that we have two characters at the bottom and two at the top. Now I'm going to select this and let's press S to scale this up. And let me just quickly align this to the center. Now you can see that we have this four letter word. And in order to animate this, we are going to use a effect called mesh warp. Let me just quickly apply this. And right away you can see that it gives us a bunch of different rows and columns and we can control their number by simply setting them to something like 2 by 2. So since we have 4 characters, I'm going to set this 2 by 2. So now you can see we have these 4 corners and we can place each letter in each of these blocks. Now there are two ways in which you can place these blocks. First one is you can create a single layer something like this and after that you can just simply select two of these letters and then you can use the character panel to create the gap between them something like this and now you can see that the characters are moving apart and we can also do it a little bit more so that the characters are fully apart just like that now we can do the same thing over here as well just keep on increasing the space between them. And now if I click on mesh warp, you can see that all the characters are in their own block. So this is one way, but instead of doing it like this, I'd like to create single character in each block. So let me just quickly show you how I do that. So I'm going to first delete this text and let's select the text layer and let's type our text. So I'm going to type F. So we are going to just type single character. Let me just quickly set this to zero and I'm going to scale this up. So let's scale this to something like this. After that, we can select this, press Ctrl D and let's type our second character and let's press Ctrl D and we are going to type our third character and again press Ctrl D and let's type our last character, which is T. So now you can see we have individual characters, something like this, and we can place them however we want. So instead of applying the mesh warp onto each layer, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and let's apply mesh warp onto this and let's set this to two by two. So now you can see we have each characters and we can place them into their respective blocks, something like this. Now, if you have multiple character, for example, if you have like four characters in the top row and eight in the bottom, then it becomes very frustrating that you have to check all of these characters by going to the mesh warp again and again. But instead of this, what I do is I select the composition and then double click on the rectangle tool. Now you can see that it has created a perfect square. Now we can select this and let's select the pan anchor tool. And I'm going to move the anchor point to this very top and we are going to change the fill and I'm going to set this to none and let's change the stroke color to red now we can select this press s and I'm going to just scale this down by 50 percent something like this now you can see that we have the individual block let me just quickly make this darker so that you can see it clearly now we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's place it over here Let's press Ctrl D and I'm going to place this to the bottom and again press Ctrl D and let's place it to this side. So now you can see that we have four regions and we can easily fit our text. So let me just quickly align them to these areas. So now you can see that all the characters are in their respective areas and now we can probably get rid of these or we can hide them. 
something like this. So let's start animating them. And in order to do that, you have to just select the adjustment layer. And after that, we are going to add a keyframe to the mesh to start. Let's change the quality to 10. And now we can start animating them. So let's select this, press U to see the keyframes. Now I'm going to move this to somewhere around one second. And now you can select the mesh fob and you can see that we have all these corners and we can just click them and you can move them however you want, something like this. So first I'm going to select these three. So let's click over here. You can see that your cursor will change when you move to a point, something like this. Now you can just move all of them to the left side or right side, wherever you want just like this and after that i want the a to be at maximum size so i'm going to select these points and i'm going to move them to the down something like this so now you can see we have our a highlighted and let's go to two seconds and i'm going to move this back up and i want the s to be highlighted so now we can select these points. So let's select this one, this one, and this one. And I'm going to just move this to the right size, something like this. So now you can see we have this animation. Let's move to three seconds and let's keep on doing this. Now I want F to come up. So I'm going to just select these points and let's make this down, something like this. And Let's go to four second and I want the T to come up. So let's move them to the top again. Just make sure when your cursor changes, only then you click, otherwise you will deselect the layer and you have to select this again. So now you can see we have this sort of animation. And if I play back, you can see all the characters are animating. We can add a little bit of more animation. So I'm going to select all of them and let's move them somewhere in the middle. And I want both F and A to come to the max size, something like this. Perfect. And in the same way, you can just keep on going. But once you are done with this, let me just quickly select all the keyframes. Let's press F9 to ease them. Let's go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, make sure you are in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. After that, let's select all the keyframes and I'm going to just move them to the left side and let's select all the other endpoints and I'm going to move them to the right side so that we have a graph that looks something like this. So now we can go back and if I play back, you can see we have much better animation. If you want to increase the speed of these, then you can select all the keyframes and hold on the alt key or option key on Mac. Then just simply click and drag the last keyframe. You can see that it will decrease the space between all of them. So now you can see that we have much faster animation if this is something that you want, but there is one more thing that you can do. So now you can see that our animation stops here and we can just copy all of these keyframes and let's go to six seconds and let's paste them so that our animation will keep on going. So now you can select all the keyframes and hold on the alt key and let's drag them so that this animation becomes a little bit faster. Let me just quickly show you something like this so you can see that we have created our animation so once you're done with this we are ready to add some background so we can right click go to new and let's add a solid and you can pick whatever color you want i'm going to pick a bright pink just like this and let's place this to the bottom and i'm going to scale this a little bit bigger because we have applied mesh distort and i don't want some of the edges to remain blank so after that, we are pretty much done with this. Let's just quickly add some colors to our text as well. So I'm going to search for fill and let's drag it onto one of these characters and let's change its color. Just pick whatever color you want. And after that, we can just copy the fill and let's paste it onto the other characters just like that. So now we are pretty much done with our animation and let's see how we can paste this onto a surface. So we can go back to the main comp. And you can see that I have already downloaded this image from Unsplash. So you can just go over there and search for billboard and you will get bunch of different images and you can just pick whatever you want. So I'm going to use this one. It has this area where we can apply our text. So once you are happy with your image, just simply drag your text, something like this. And after that, search for an effect called corner pins and let's apply it onto the text. 
and I'm going to quickly scale this down something like this. Now we can select the corner pin effect and if you zoom in you can see that we have these points and you can just simply move them and align them to the endpoints of this image just like this and let's zoom in just do it precisely because this will make your text appear on the surface so it will change the perspective from where we are looking at this and it will apply the animation onto the surface so let's place this over here and now you can see that we have placed all the corners and you can see that this is our final text and if i play back here you can see we have all the animations already applied and let me just quickly see if we don't have any gaps so this is perfect and this is how you can apply the text but in order to make this stand out and to make this more realistic, there are a couple of things that you can do. So first is you can add a little bit of shadow to this. So in order to do that, just select the pen tool and let me just quickly zoom in. Just click anywhere and let's create a triangle, something like this. And I'm going to set its stroke to zero and let's apply the fill and change its color to black. After that, you can select this, press T for opacity and let's lower this down something like this so once you're happy with this let's search for an effect called gaussian blur let's drag this onto this shape layer and let's increase the blurriness a little bit so that we have a smooth edge just like this after that you can play around with the opacity and you can get a really nice shadow something like this but there is one more thing that you can do in order to make this more realistic and for that you have to select the image layer and let's press ctrl d and i'm going to place this to the very top and you can see that we have this blank image and let's select the text layer and i'm going to press ctrl d as well and let's place this on top of the image now we can select the image and i'm going to change its track mat to alpha mat so that our image is visible only where we have this text and let me just quickly show you what I mean by that. So if I move the image, you can see that it is moving only inside this region. And once we're done with this, let's select both of them. And I'm going to place them below our shadow. Now we can select the image and let's press T for opacity. And I'm going to lower this down quite a bit. Something like this. And we can also change the mode to something like screen or add whatever you want. And just play around with the opacity. So now you can see that we have really nice reflection in the text and you can see that it makes this more realistic and you can play around with the opacity to see what looks better. So now you can see we have this really amazing animation and all the elements are already applied. And sometimes you will see that there are a couple of gaps in this. So you can fix that by simply selecting your corner pin and you can just move them a little bit to the up. just like that and this way you can create these kind of really amazing animations and if you have a different letter that has more words then you can just simply go to the text and instead of selecting the two by two you can pick two by three or two by four whatever you want so now you can see it is divided into six blocks so you can place six text over here something like this one in each of these blocks and after that you can animate it just like this so this is how you can create these kind of animation. If you have any queries or questions, then you can ask in the comments below. So that's it for this tutorial. My name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.